14 years, baby. 14 goddamn years. I waited 14 years for this sequel, and it's finally here. Square Enix proudly presents, by hand, from where, or Cryware. Oh, God, that's a little loud. Let me turn this down. Jesus. Sorry about that. Okay. Obtain legendary threat sets. Yep, this game uses an autosave function where prayer like recording your progression. Yeah, yeah. I only know one of the characters is just Shaw. God, I do not like his trin strap design. Neo, the world ends with you. So, the world ends with you. This is a game I have waited 14 years for, and hopefully, unlike Space Jib, this actually comes like stands up to the hype of what the original was for me. For me, this game was unironically my favorite. Excuse me, my favorite DS game, more so than any of the Pokemon games, more so than any of the Mario games. This game right here, the world ends with you. It's an initial game. So my story when I come, when I came to this game was that. I, my brother was going somewhere, was visiting a friend like several hours away, and our mother wasn't home, so he took me along just so, you know, he could watch after me and make sure I don't do anything stupid. I was so enraptured when he gave me this game that on the car ride there, I was focusing playing the game. I got out of the car still playing the game. I sat in the house without making a peep while playing the game, got back into the car, drove all the way back, and didn't register that I was home and back in the room that it was nighttime until I looked out the window and saw that it was, oh shit, holy crap, it's been like six hours. It's just that fun for me. Also, I'm really digging this music. Um, I think this is not only, this is a direct sequel to uh, The World Ends With You. So I'm going to give a quick lore recap of uh the entire of the first game so the initial of the game uh the world ends with you it takes place in shibuya like real life shibuya in fact if you played persona 5 like this format right here should look familiar because of just how prominent the scene or just about most games that talk about japan and use like the modern day equivalent of shit you've seen this area it's real life shibuya um you play as a character named neku yeah, all these characters look like they straight come out of Japanese Hot Topic, by the way. I actually really like the character designs. I will give Tatsuya Nomura a really good job. I think he did a really good job on these designs. But you play as this boy named Neku, a 15-year-old who's, like, incredibly angsty to the entire world. In fact, when you start the game, the first things you hear are Neku saying, Shut up. Oh, I hate all this noise. You guys are all stupid and idiots. And he's insulting the world. He's just, like, a very angsty teen. Um, you wake up with amnesia in the middle of Shibuya and nothing can touch you or interact with you. You can't touch other people because you're just, you just can't interact with anybody. When you wake up in Shibuya in the middle, literally in the middle of the streets of Shibuya, you get attacked by noise. It's a metaphor for what attacks, it's attacking you. But honestly, it's, it's noise. But in this game, in the uh, world of you, noise takes the form of an animals that have been like spliced with graffiti and attempt to kill you. So you go running away, uh, you because you can't fight these things, and eventually you make it to the Hachinko statue? I think that's what it's called. Let me make sure that's what it's called. Yes, the Hachiko statue. It, uh, if you've ever seen the, the Fry's Dog episode of uh, Futurama, Hachinko is, it was, well, he was that that dog was based off a real life dog in Japan of a, a dog literally going and uh, visiting his owner every day and following the exact same route till his owner died but it still kept doing that route and he was commemorated with a statue but anyway you get over to that statue and you're about to get killed by the noise and then a girl runs up and is like oh yeah I found you and you guys form a partnership or a bond this bond allows for you and your partner to be able to fight the noise you fight the noise and she fights the noise her way of fighting the noise is by controlling a little stuffed animal cat, and she's able to literally make it attack like a stand, whereas you are able to use various different pins in the game to attack. Depending on how you were able to press the stylus onto the screen and swish it in certain functions and ways, you're able to like heavily modify what each of your attacks did, or how each of your pat uh, pins activated. 
like if you were to tap and do slightly to the down downwards angle you're able to do a flame trail if you tapped and you had a certain pin you're able to do lightning strikes if you tapped and you had a certain pin you did multiple stabs certain pins let you heal certain pins that you uh do like all different kinds of shit there were so many different kinds of pins and different ways to play so after you form this bond, Neku is like still being a dick to this girl. Is like, all right, thank you for the help, and just kind of walks away. And she's like, bruh, you know you can't walk away. Don't you realize what's going on? Nope, don't care. And then it's revealed really quickly that you are dead. These beings called Reapers, which also look like Hot Topic members, come up and are like, oh no, man, you guys are dead. If you want to be, you guys are in a thing called a Reaper game. And the reason that no one interacts with you is because you are on an invisible layer on top of the normal Shibuya, so no one can really interact with you or notice you because you're technically dead. If you want to live, you have to survive seven days in our Reaper game. And if you survive, if even a single team survives, then everyone gets to be uh, come back alive. So Neku's like, I mean, he hates the world, but he still wants to come back alive, right? So the first few days, you're just kind of plugging along trying to figure out what's going why you don't have your memories and Deku's just Deku I'm sorry yeah this is gonna might happen Neku is being a complete bitch and just being a bastard to Shiki which was his uh, female partner eventually um I think on the third day uh no well before that on the second day um you meet another set of reapers you meet the, uh, not another set of reapers you meet another set of uh, players in this game beat and rhyme who are like yo beats this is think kanji tatsumi effectively he really is he has the he even has like a skull and crossbones motif and he's like he's literally that archetype of the big tough punk but with the heart of gold it's he's basically kanji tatsumi and his partner rhyme and then they tell you oh the reason you don't have any memories is because to play this game you have to give up something you are forced to give up something to play this game in the case of Neku, his memories were his price to pay the game. You later find out that beats and rhymes uh, prices, and I'll explain that a little bit later. But yeah, you keep going on, and then day three, you have this one, like, kind of bitch of a reaper who goes like, if you kill your partner, I'll let you go free. And Neku, being a piece of shit, like, starts doing that. Luckily, a game master who's effectively watches over the game and makes sure everything is done fairly, comes in and saves uh saves shiki at the last second to say hey that's not how the rules work you know that's not how the rules work what are you doing and then at heart skips to the next day day four neku starts to become less of a piece of shit because he realizes wait maybe not all people are bad however their next game is get to a certain area and on the way to that certain area beat and rhyme are like hey we can work, work together beats like nah man neku's a dick i ain't gonna do uh, deal with this guy and then he, but he still like gives you hints on how to play the game and how to like advance. While Rhyme's like, eh, he's kind of, eh, that's just a uh, beat for you. He he acts like he's all big and tough, but he's actually a softy deep down. As you're making your way to the next area though, or the final area for this thing, uh, Rhyme gets attacked by a, a a noise, a shark noise, and gets instantly deleted. It, the thing is, if you're you die, if either you or your partner die, eventually you also die, and you just lose the game. Luckily, that same game master comes back and is like, yo, uh, Beat, I can save you and same Rhyme, but you gotta go with me right now. So they dip out of there and just go run, and so that, that game master guy is able to save um, Beat and Rhyme, effectively, while you fight that pink-haired, the pink-haired bitch of a Reaper who killed him. Um... So you keep going through the through the each episode, learning about more and more things, learning that there is like a composer who is, I guess uh, the game, there's a game master who watches over the rules and makes sure the Reapers and the players are playing fairly. And then you have a composer who decides what games are done each day to decide uh, and like the time limits and all that different kind of stuff, you know? Eventually you fight the first composer, you beat him, and Neku at this point has now become a decent human being. And it's like, all right, so, yeah, I guess it's okay. You find out, you also find out around day six, I believe, what Shiki's price was. Turns out the uh, Shiki is a fashion designer with her friend, best friend, Eerie, right? And her, pri uh, her reason for, her price for coming into this game or her 
uh, sacrifice to come into this game was her identity. Turns out the Shiki that you saw the entire game isn't the real Shiki. The Shiki you're seeing is actually eerie because Shiki isn't happy in her own body. Again, if you played Persona 5 Royal, it's kind of like a Kasumi Sumeri kind of thing. She's uh, eerie. Uh, Shiki feels like, oh man, Eerie's the one with all the design ideas and it's all bubbly and awesome. I'm so plain and boring looking. And she kind of is. Like, when you see Eerie's, like, real form, she looks like a straight-up NPC. But then, like, she... Neku helps her get over it and goes like, look, you help me get over me saying people is not all shit, so I'm gonna help you get over your trauma of not being comfortable with yourself. And that's when you beat the when you beat the first week, it's like, alright, now we're gonna be revived, and we're just gonna be able to go on, and uh, we can meet in the real world. However, the game doesn't end there. It goes to week two. And Deku's like, wait, what the fuck? What's going on here? And it turns out because uh, there is a reason that you're in week two. But you're like, screw it. Uh, what stock forced me to play anyway and you find out in the week two that your prize for winning this time is the soul of Shiki because that's now who's the most important to you so he's forced to play he starts running around looking for a partner at the start of the day and a random guy walks up to him and uh, takes his hand and it's like alright we're partners now uh, and his name's Joshua if you let's see give me a second What is that gotten the okay? If you've played, if you've not played, if you've seen um B Stars, yeah, if you've seen B Stars, he basically acts like Pina, the sheep dude, or the 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 yeah, the ram dude from uh from B Stars, where he's like this aloof. Like I know I'm badass. I know I'm letting on. I know more than I'm letting on, and I constantly kind of piss you off and manipulate people, kind of douchebag. Where it's like, he's not trying to actively get deleted or anything, but he trolls. You go from like this happy, bubbly character who's just trying to like, yeah, we can do it, Neku, to, ha ha, Neku, you suck. And you suck for not going, knowing what's everything's going on. Uh, however, in this week, Neku starts getting his memories back piece by piece. Also, Beat and Rhyme are still alive in this world. And Beat is like distraught over Rhyme, right? Uh, because the way that the, that game master was able to uh, save her was by turning her into a pin and he was able to bond he was able to form his partnership with the pin now and so that's why she's still alive and that's why they're still alive eventually he goes like yo reapers let me join you so that i can revive rhyme in the end and they're like all right bet either way as you go through week two the next it turns out you have another composer to fight it is actually this guy in the top right the guy on the top right with the megaphone, show, which is a lot of memes remain about this guy because he's like the youngest composer ever and he does a lot of math memes. Like seriously, each time he talks, he always says things like as some kind of like math term, like hexadecimal and shit like that. And his catchphrase is so, uh, so Zeta slow and stuff like that. Eventually, uh, as you go through week two, your memories start coming back and you realize Oh man, and you as Nick realize as you get your memories back, wait a minute, Sho was the one who shot me and killed me? And then you see Joshua in your flashback as well, and it looks like Joshua is saving you from Sho, and then Sho was still able to manage to get a shot on you and kill you. So Sho was the one who killed you. Dun dun dun. And then, so you have a real reason to do this. Eventually as you go through week two, you beat Sho, and it's like, oh, um, yeah, now we can go both leave. Thanks, Joshua. And Joshua's kind of aloof, like, yeah, yeah, we can totally both leave. Implying that there's he knows more than what's going on. You get to week three, and you're still, for some reason, trapped in another week of this game. And Neku, at this point, is like, you know what? Fuck it. I gotta save Shiki's soul. I need to get out of here. I need to find out all the things that are going on here. And I'm gonna fight no, no matter how hard. However... Because the Reapers are just trying to trade up, straight up fucking cheat. Uh, in week three, they take the thing that's most important to you at this point, which is other players. Which means you can't form bonds, which means you can't use pins. Uh, Beat is at this point a Reaper. But he comes and goes like, yo, fine, yo, do dog, let me form a bond with you. So then you form your partnership with Beat. And uh, you go through the week. As you go through the week, you find out one of the Reapers is like getting too big for his britches, and is like, yeah, man, I just want to delete Shibuya, and I want to be the, the true and only composer, 
because yeah i'm evil so you, as you go through week three you get all of your memories back uh actually no as you go through week three you would beat this time you beat some, uh, most of the reapers you uh and eventually after you beat the main guy or as you get to the main guy you find out what joshua really was turns out joshua was like the true composer he's he's like the true god of this entire level of this entire concept and you find out it was actually joshua in the end who shot you after he got a show to not kill you he then killed you anyway to bring you into this game so that you could be in this game so then he has a standoff so then joshua tosses him a gun and is like all right let's have a fight let's have a standoff whoever wins gets to decide what happens to shibuya but neku having formed a bond with joshua was like i can't do it joshua still shoots you but then he revives you in the end and is like you know what you, we're, we're boys now so yeah i'll let you just keep shibuya and that game ends with you with uh joshua saying look if like the worst person in shibuya can change for the better then i think there's probably hope that shibuya can eventually be good it's i know it sounds like nonsense and i really had to skip over a lot to get into it but that's the world ends with you the base game and then there was a remix i think that was on mobile first and then it got a, another official uh it's remix release on um ds as well if you've played any kingdom hearts game you know what's going on there with the remixes and re-releases etc etc that adds an additional single day where you're partnered with the beat again and you meet this new reaper called uh coco i actually haven't played this one but i did read a synopsis and after you go through all that yeah after you go through all that um turns out coco is like the big dog and she's she's on par with joshua apparently and she kills neku at the end of that one so that she can so that neku can be in the reaper game yet again to help revive show because she wants to bring that show for some reason and that's where we are with this game after all of that fucking like synopsis <laughs> uh either way it was just a really fun game for me back in the day and now that i've spent 20 minutes gushing about how much of i like i like this game let's actually get into it there's gonna be a little bit of delay because i'm playing this on the switch and the switch uh the adapter i have isn't like perfect but i think i should still be able to play this game for the most part so let's get into it a hey, and here's the headphones that neku always wore throughout the game because throughout the game he just like didn't want to listen to the noise going around him and didn't want to listen to the people so yeah in fact there's the description a pair of wireless purple headphones worn by the legendary player neku he used to use he used to use them to block out the world to block the world out but after everything that happened he doesn't need them so much anymore because he doesn't want to block the world out anymore he wants to appreciate the world legendary tank top this is the top he wore a sleeveless top with an oversized collar worn by the legendary player neku based off jotam's uh border hama tank it's produced in limited quantity making it an ultra rare item to be prized oh and another one of the systems that was in no uh i almost want to say no more heroes that's later this year another system that was in this game oh i forgot to do my a little synopsis is another feature that was in uh the game was fashion right so every single pin as well as the pieces of clothing that you wore as equipment to give you stat buffs and attack buffs was made by a certain brand in shibuya i don't think they're based on real brands but they're all based on brands and depending what depending on what area you wore when you wore them it would literally shift the power of your pins and your gear so let's say you're wearing like tommy hilfiger while in like uh one street right because that isn't very popular on this street your damage and your defense go down but if you keep wearing that brand uh eventually it boosted up in that area and drops into another area as well as any tommy hilfiger pins you have having their attack power increase and all and stuff like that it was just a really cool concept i i loved it so much because it really added this dichotomy like helped you like you wanted to mix and match your pins and your clothing depending on the area you were oh this one gives me higher attack but this one only it gives me higher attack in this area oh i like using this pin but this pin if i use it here also increases my um damage and my defenses and stuff like that by the way in that synopsis i skipped a shit ton of things and before i forget now uh what's happening in the video game industry there was a blizzard walkout where apparently like 2500 uh employees walked out 
because of the um technically right now they're just allegations i mean they're probably true but technically right now allegations of the sexual abuse that went on there so yeah um that's it anyway let's keep going legendary shorts a pair of shorts and matching belt worn by the legendary player neku the belt has been loosened to make the bucks stand out more and it looks like one of the buttons has been reattached by hand oh so one of the things one of the events that happened in the first game is that he has a loose button on his pants that it uh, that pisses Shiki off because she is basically Shiki was the one who did all the seamstress work while Eerie did the designing if they weren't like abusing each other like Eerie wasn't taking advantage of Shiki she Eerie was like Shiki holy shit your ability to decision so is godlike and Eerie's like nah man I'm nowhere here to you with fashion design do you you literally made a stuffed animal out of scraps that looks really good what do you mean you know it's that kind of relationship where one doesn't believe in themselves and like you had that one friend who's like nah fam you good so literally while they were invisible since they're invisible to like normal people she literally demanded he strip in the middle of shibuya down to his small clothes just so she could uh fix the button on his pants just go so because she was having OCD over the, sh the the button not being on properly. And Deku's like, I cannot believe you forced me to strip to fix a button in the middle of fucking Shibuya. <laughs> legendary sneakers. A pair of high top sneakers worn by the legendary player Neku. The soles are pretty worn out from the countless hours walking around Shibuya. You do a lot of running around Shibuya. Legendary music player. Portable music player used by the legendary player Neku. It lacks the fancy features new models have, but it's simple and easy to use. Neku packed it full of all kinds of music and carried it with him everywhere. This music better be as bopping as the original game because the original game, even on the DS, on that like not subpar but lower quality uh, sound card compared to what we have nowadays, it was amazing. All those songs were good. Oh, fun fact, if you pre-ordered this game, like, before around, like, 10 days, or 10 or 12 days ago, when they sent out pre-order codes to get download the game onto your system, they fucked up and just sent the entire full game. So I technically could have been playing this game, like, 12, 13 days ago. By the way, there's the noise. You see, like, how animals are fused with graffiti? This has to be a flashback or a future sequence, maybe? You know, I actually like these character models because they remind me of the character models from Jet Set Radio Future, so I'm okay with this. Seriously, like, if you play... Pers it's literally the exact same layout as Persona 5, though. Why my man got a chin strap? Oh, it's a mask! Scramble, dude. Ha! Ah, he's a Tonberry! Dude, where are you at? The crossing. You're late. Where are you? Forgive me. I was shopping. Come to one of them. What the fuck? Are you allowed to say that? 104. 104. 104? Get it? Please and thank you. <laughs> right. 104 it is then. What's his name? That is literally the exact same. All right, tilt the left stick to move. Investigate icons you spot while you're out in the town as they may trigger special events. The mini map in the bottom left ought to come in handy too. Okay. Good music start. Jesus Christ, it is literally the exact same layout as the one in Persona 5. I mean, it is the exact same area, so I'm not really surprised. Oh, so yeah, he wears a mask, and he pulls it down as a chin strap. I don't like the chin strap. Uh, 
So he's nicer than Neku. Neku would have like scoffed him off at the very start. Alright, you're off to a good start. The visuals are nice, the game feels snappy enough when moving. And the audio is real fucking good. Mm. I should have. Oh shoot, I forgot to. Crap, is it too late to order food? Huh? It's Swallow. What if they found something good on Fango? Hey, Rinda Dragon. Rin Dragon? Hope you're not too tired. From exams. Oh, did they just put exams? Ah, kids are going back to school soon. Sucks for those nerds. Yeah, some days it feels like nothing spawns but trash. I'll let you know if any rare monsters pop up on my radar. Oh, for real? Thanks, Wallow. How are you again? It's a Chocobo! I mean, it is Square Enix. No problem. Alright, give me one minute. I need to order food before all the stores close. Okay, we're good. Press the L outside of combat to sift through Rindo's thoughts. He jots down all important information he learns. So review what you've recorded if you ever feel stuck. An exclamation mark will appear in the upper left every time he makes a new mental note. Let's see, I'll let you know any rare monsters. Hmm. Today's plan is meet up with Brett outside 104. Wait, what was that? Hey, okay, so we're still using so we're still using pins, we still have a uh threads. Streets. 104, scramble, records. Check out various swag and for a collection. Oh, sorry. Check out the various swag you've snagged over the course of your journey from the collection section of the record menu. Think you have what it takes to complete the extensive collection? Probably not. I was the place to open last week. I literally die if we don't go. What happened last week? You were the one who told us about it. Seriously, showed me the receipts. You showed me all the way. Let's go already. Yo, that went by real fast. I don't think I can read that fast. Uh oh. Yeah, I told you I don't want to go look at pins, but babe, these are limited edition. Come on with me, please. Fine, but let's keep it quick. Yo, it is flying by. I don't expect me to read all these. As you know, oh, why is the man walking with his phone out? Yo, that's risky business. Nah, fam, put your phone away. Can't miss the sale Actually, today. They still got a little time until they open, though. Why don't we grab some coffee first? Hmm? A new curry place. Where at? Yep. Dogenzaka. Gonna replace that old ramen shop. No! That ramen shop! That ramen shop was actually a pretty important plot point in, in, uh, in the first game. And it turns out that a lot of the pins that were made in the game came from that ramen shop because he, that the creator of that, made a game there's like a game in the game and you made a game called 10 pin slammers which was unironically fun by the way and it kind of blew up into this whole big thing oh, my phone has a battery I only have ten dollars on me look at this Ponder F looking motherfucker my Rin dude you finally made it Tosa Furisawa yeah, no thanks to you <laughs> my bad Anyway, I had to line up for a little something I've had my eye on. Okay. Well, don't you want to know what I bought? Not really. Oh, Shots. You're killing me. Give me a guess. Fine. Clothes? <laughs> nope. Bummer. Come on, work with me here. Fine. What is it? Hint. There's one for each of us. Hmm. Some kind of food? Uh oh. What is it? A Reaper pin, duh. Haven't you seen them on everyone's book bag? Those red pins were literal major bad news in the first game. Everyone's Those pins allowed the last anyway, composer who was true, like the true, anta true antagonist of the game to start mind controlling people, including people in the real pins? world. Not just any pins, Rin, dude. These things have got value. Enough to make me, of all people, wait in line for them. 
Here, see for yourself. Huh? Hey, watch it. If you lose it, I can't buy you another. Dude, you practically threw it at me. Uh oh, thanks. <sighs> Doesn't look that special to me. I gotta say, I'm feeling kind of hungry. Yeah? Come on, let's grab a bite. We could, I guess. All right, now we just gotta figure out what to eat. I was thinking either ramen or curry. Let's head to Dogenzaka and go from there. All right, and I got me a party member. Before we do that, though, I want to check out... So, the voice actor for this is... For Rindo, our main character, is Paul Castro Jr. He has done... Yeah, this is his... Oh, he's new to the scene. He's very new to the scene. Good for him. So he is Forseti and Abel in Record of Ragnarok. He is Rindo in this game. And he is Rikuya Yoshida in High Rise Invasion. So he's brand new to the scene. Good for him, though. Good to see new talents starting to come up in the world. And the voice of Fret is Griffin Burns. He is, oh, he's in Lupin the Third versus Detective Conan. Oh, that's so cool. I need to actually watch that. He is Shin, Shinichi Kudo. Yeah, he's Shinichi Kudo. Vinland Saga, he's Canute. And Scarlet Nexus, he's Nagi Carmen. Record of Ragnarok, he's Kojiro Saki. Pokemon Snap, he's Todd Snap. He's the main character. Sherlock Holmes in the Great Escape. He's Ronald. He's Kaido Kid in Case Closed. Burn the Witch. He's Ball Parks. Kaido Kid and, Ch and Shinji again. He's Colt in Attack on Titan. Yeah, he's been doing this Shinji role for basically ever. He is. I haven't played. I don't play Genshin Impact, but he is Targula in Genshin Impact. He's, Sas he's Kasakube in Doro Hedero. He's he's the red he's the little raccoon thing. Yo! Okay, that's where I heard his voice before. He's the little raccoon thing fudge and Beastars. But more importantly, he's one of the three dude boys in Grand Blue Fantasy. He's Tomoe. Nice. Oh, he's also uh Dapio in um JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Oh, he's um the play male player voice character in uh, Code Vein, as well as Hibbert in Pokemon Masters. He's Tokotau in Demon Slayer. He is he oh he's Cyril in Fire Emblem. Oh, he's the main character in Yokai Watch Three. He's Spider UK in Spider Geddon. He's also Spider Ham. Oh, he's Tadano! Huh! He's also Shaw Nark in Hunter Hunter. He's Akira Fudo in Devil Man Cry Baby. There's a show called Bears in Under Bear in Underwear, where he voiced Eddie. What the fuck? But yeah, he's kind of new recent too. He got his first start in like 2013, apparently. Good for him. All right, let's keep going. I wonder if I actually get to gain any gameplay in my first episode of this. Probably not. Dogen Zaka. Hey. So what's your stomach telling you? Hmm. I think he's fine with anything. Yo. Me and Re me and Rindo would be fine. Hey yo, what do you want to eat? I'm good with anything. Bet. Well, that narrows down our options. If he feels like ramen, there's a place right over there. Oh, right. There's also a great Indian place right around the corner. I want to check out the new curry place, although it looks like it's not open yet. 
So you're telling me he's either ramen or Indian. Uh, I kind of want to. Rem I want to reverse the ramen place. Honestly, I want to see if the same guys there. In the mood for men, then I could definitely go for a no <laughs> noodle bowl or three or five. Mm. Second thought. I want to look at the curry place. Let me get this more, a little more thought. I think you've given it more than enough. Just trying to make up your mind soon, okay? I'm gonna choose the ramen place because I want to see if the same guy is there from last time. Nope. Oh, fair. Where's good one? How about the ramen place? I mean, curry sounds good. Got a stronger. Got a than some. So this is the Indian place. I can eat curry for every meal. Does this look okay for you? Mm -hmm. Hell no. Huh? Now nah, we're going to the ramen place. I mean, I, li I like the curry and ramen in different amounts. Or, same amount. I don't know how to describe it. But, I want to go to the ramen place because I want to see if the ramen place has the same guy as last time. I'm guessing this mm -hmm. choice doesn't really matter, though. But still. Ah. Sure, let's eat. Right on. Let's do this. Table for two, please. All right, ramen time. Looks kind of hot. Wow, oh, it is hot. Oh. oh, it's swallow again. Wait, no, I. Oh, it's a um a nutsy. <laughs> is am I just gonna see like a lot of Final Fantasy references? Um, I think these guys pre uh premiered in Final Fantasy VI. Not the poo poo you wanted, but look what I got, just caught. Oh, it's Pokemon Go. They're Pokemon Go and got it. Oh, nice. Hey. What's up? Give me a sec. Nutkin. Congrats. It's a Boogle. Where'd you find it? Shibuya. Shut up right in the middle of the crossing. Huh? Shibuya. No way. You're in Shibuya. Me too. Who are you talking? Who is who is this mystery person? It's a friend I met through Fango. Oh yeah, so Fango Pokemon Go. Said they found something good in the crossing. Nice. Um, what's up, Fango? A game. Right, that monster collecting thing. Is it fun? Can I try? Should be around here somewhere. Who the monsters? Which one? Want to catch them? What? No, my friend. Wait, who is this friend, and why haven't I met them? I mean, technically, I haven't either. Whoa. Dude, they're at the scramble crossing right now. They were, but they probably left. I haven't even read my messages yet. But they just touched you, right? Either they could left. They couldn't have gotten far. You can still catch up with your friend and that monster. You know, two things for one. I mean, uh, no, it's I nah, forget it. Come Too late. On. My mind's made up. Let's move, Rin, dude. I don't. But what about my ramen, though? All right, I guess I'm just doing this. Oh, pardon me. No worries. See what I tell you about texting and walking? He's on the road, buddy. It's called peripheral vision. More like a blind spot. Less talking, more walking. Yeah, you gotta be careful. Hello! I see you! I see you, Mr. Reaper! That guy's a Reaper. I need to step on a shoe or something. This guy is... There's, like, generic NPC-looking Reapers. And then there's Reapers who have, like, actual personalities. This guy's a Reaper. I can tell it is from his design. He is a Reaper. Because that's what all the NPC Reapers wore. Dress is still in stock. Look at him getting all sad about those toys, like a little kid. Okay, those are my twin pins. Uh, see, getting, getting worse. Wait, what? That's ridiculous. Uh, hurry up already, jeez. I want to read all these. I don't. I can't. I can't. Can't keep up with all of these. No. Scramble crossing. Exactly, are we looking for? Dude, just forget it. Oh. What the? What's going on? Did I just see Joshua for a second there? 
in, dude. You okay? You did hurry up and cross the street. The hell was that? No! Did you see that? They're shooting off fireworks. Let's check it out, Rin, dude. Dude, wait up! Yeah, see, that's the noise. They're literally graffiti fused with actual real life animals. Whoa, it's like a movie about people who can do that thing. Uh, what's that called? You know, the brain power thing. What is that called? Uh, it's gonna drive me crazy. Come on, think. Oh, psychokinesis? Bingo! Uh, Brett, how come we're the only ones paying attention? Hmm. Maybe they're all part of the crew? I've got a bad feeling about this. Yeah, I'm starting to get one too. Greetings. Uh huh? Sheeple of Shibuya. Got some red hot news for you. Oh. <laughs> now I got a horrible feeling. Run! <laughs> a new game has finally begun. <laughs> Who is this asshole? Uh oh. Fred, look out! I've seen this before. So is my ability able to turn back time? Yo, are we uh devil survivor devil summarying this? Oh yeah, we are devil summoning this. Yeah, we're able to devil summon her this. I'll explain what I mean in a second. I'm glad that Rin was able to figure out very quickly how his powers worked. I don't know what's going on, or what any of this means. Just make it stop! That was. Close. <laughs> Looks like the action is really heating up. So how is this working with normal people though? Can they not perceive that or what? She's got a lot of pins. She's gonna be OP, isn't she? Rindo. God, this feels like such a fucking anime opening. Brett. Nagi. I'm not feeling this one as much as the other one. I feel more so for like the pop stylings that we got going on. Hey, show. <gasps> hey, whoa, 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 whoa. That was Mr. Mew. That was that little doll she was carrying. That was the weapon that um Shiki used to attack with. So is that eerie or is that Shiki? So we got to I'm guessing that he's the new composer reaper causing all this. I'm mad that the, this, this cutscenes were taking so long that it made my gray screen. Oh, by the way, what that Devil's, uh, some, uh, I'm sorry, Devil Survivor thing I was talking about in the Devil Survivor, was it two or one? Two. In Devil Survivor 2, 
um, you have this thing where it's like this uh, Devil's Game or like uh, this Summoner's Game thing where you look at your phone and you see video clips of how you're gonna die and you're able to like alter the timeline of when you're supposed to die based off doing just by doing different things so it seems like it's kind of like that the question is did the truck flip in real life or was that just in the reapers game world shibuya Whew. so what game was that guy talking about and why is it so dangerous your guess is as good as mine are you kidding more new players <sighs> Here I thought I was done for the day. Rindo Kanade. Tosai for Asawa. Um, can we help you? Miss Shoka Sakurane, one of the Reapers. Who's your voice actress? You weren't in the last game. I saw your Sykes. Which means now I've got to get you bozos registered. Huh? Registered for what? For the Reapers game? Did you not notice that your phones got updated or... Bailey Gamber to goalie. Anyway, you're all set. Welcome to the RNS. RNS? Reaper Networking Service. Be sure to check the official account. Official account? Yes. And these are your starter pins. I we have no idea. Hey! Those are th that that uh yellow bullet one. Earn enough points, you win the game. You tap the screen to shoot, the other one you slice to do attacks and dash towards enemy to slice. So ask someone else, would you? Like another player or another reaper. Literally anyone but me. And I'm out. Later losers. Oh, bye. <laughs> Did she just say Reaper? Like Grim Reaper? I mean, that's what I heard. Yikes, she was giving off some scary vibes. Almost as scary as those explosions. Think those were part of this game too? Hmm? What were those? Noise. So, Bailey Gambertogoli. She has done this. She's Abigail Stone in Spirit Riding Free, whatever that is. In Dissidia, Final Fantasy NT, she's the Moogle, day one. Oh, she's also Moogle in World of Final Fantasy. She's Taifu in the Lion Guard. Hmm. She is... Come from? Oh, God, she's ah, been basically the Moogle must be that or Mog right. since 2014. Looks like it replaced my usual app. Huh, says something about a team. Like a group chat? One She's of the kind spirit in Legend of Korra. What's the point when you're the only one left in my contacts? Man, I wish that girl would have actually explained things. Yo! What the fuck is this man's body type? Newbies. Oh, fresh out of the box, ain't ya? You, that voice is way too low for how big you are. What's so funny? You just couldn't help yourselves, could ya? Should have made a quiet move and teamed up with a pro. Instead of painting a big old target on your backs. S target? Us? This guy's voice actor name is Max Unde uh, Udell. Or Adele. This is his only voice actor thing. So good for him for getting a start. Before you know it. You get a race. You're one hell of a poison disc, bro. W well, who are you then? Yo, this man is a Kaiji fucking Suzuki. unit. Yo, what the fuck is his body? But my teammates call me Suzukichi. Yo, this man is like really every day is arm day. Team in the game. Is that so? By game, do you mean this whole Reapers game thing? Wait, why am I even taking this guy seriously? Ha! You discs don't even know what game you're playing. I'd say it's only a matter of time till somebody sweeps ya. Won't be us, though. Not yet, at least, seeing as you're starting so far behind. 
Too bad. But hey, maybe you got some untapped potential. Only one way to find out. You want to stave off erasure? Then see if you can handle the noise. Uh, Yo, this man. <laughs> Do you even know how to scan, bro? No. You don't hear the noise, you see it. And to do that, you gotta focus. Close your eyes, quit thinking, and just feel. Huh? What the hell? Whoa. What? And so it begins. Blacks played their disc, white to move. Every region is yours for the taking. It's flip or get flip. Erase or face erasure. That's how you play the game. A minute to pick up, a lifetime to perfect. Flip what? He lost me. Don't sweat it too much. You ain't gonna get it right the first time around. So just play the game and keep it loud. And if I see your discs trying to make any quiet moves, I'll break the board in two. <laughs> Does he mean us? <laughs> Yo, I... Is he an opponent? Is he an ally? What the hell is going on here? A single thing that's happened since you picked up those creepy pins. Hey, can't spell confusion without fun, right? Never heard of a game where you see sounds or whatever, but it might be cool. Let's do it. Whatever you say. Okay. Scanning will visualize enemies known as noise. Touch the symbol representing that to instate combat. So, how does that work? Let's have a look. I have to walk towards it and it drops down towards me. Okay. So, Rindo and the gang can tap into their latent sight powers using pins they've equipped. So yeah, depending on what pin you equipped, press the corresponding even the pin to use the corresponding psych. Moving and evading. So move it like the target pose right stick and evade by pressing the B button. I guess I could go around or two. Don't get careless. Okay. So you do like a little flourish as your dash. Oh cool! So each person does controls a certain one. Got it. And I gotta wait for the pin to. Whoo. All right, all right. I'm understanding. So, what's going on here is in the initial game, you have one person controlling the pins, and then you use the. Uh oh. And then you use the other person, and they have different attack types. Like with uh, Shiki, you was like plus left and right to do combo attacks with Mr. Mew. Joshua used his phone and pressing, depending on what you got with these card combos, you did damage. Beat used a skateboard and depending on how you got like certain card combos, you do different attacks with your board. It seems like here, each person corresponds to each certain kind of pin. So, Rindo is over here able to use the slash pin and Fret is able to use the bullet pin. Got it, got it. Interesting. How we managed to do that? What? Hell if I know. Okay, be honest, buddy. How cool do I look? Just you. To be fair, he looks pretty cool. That was like AR or something. Except instead of augmented reality, it's awesome reality. Hey. Seriously, that's what you're worried about. To be fair, if I was able to start floating around and shooting actual energy blasts and new kids out of my hands, I'd be flipping out too. What was this worry about? Don't overthink it. My ridden dude, just embrace the super cool superpowers. Wait, let me check something. Let's see, welcome to the Reaper's game. Access to the RNS. Find the official account today. Today's mission here. Utilize your sykes to erase the target. Receive your orders before the faithful dog. The path to the target shall open to uh, those who follow. Mm. Yes, sir, Mr. F, sir. So, faithful dog, I think, yeah. So one thing, one criticism I heard about this game, or at least no more the the original game, is that for some of the missions, it basically kind of holds your hand a little too much. Or it's like, hey, uh, do this thing, 
and you're able to figure it out on your own, but it's like, oh man, the game just tells you to go here expect uh, effectively, and it's like, eh, but I want to figure it out on myself. I don't know. There's only one way, only one way to find out, which would be by heading over to Old Pachinko and seeing for ourselves, of course. Yeah, not like we got anything better to do. Press the plus during combat to pause the action. If you're not feeling a fight, press run away and your team will split. Keep in mind that you won't be able to run from every encounter. Complete your orders, Reaper's game. Can't walk that way. Can't turn the camera. So it's a locked camera. Whoa! Yo, actual people talking. Like this was a thing in the original game, but now it's like just out in the open world. So that's kind of cool. Any other noise? Doesn't look like it. The real question is, how do I figure out how much noise I need to fight to? Oh my god, I can. I don't have to hold the button. I press the button once to focus. I hope you like this, bu uh, this blue hue because we're going to be here a lot. I'm seeing. I'm glad they're using their like higher effects. Hello. Oh, what the? Huh? What is it now? I was taking my galaxy brain. I was testing my galaxy brain for a test run, and do quit messing around. Just something more of those monsters. Now nah, we can take them. We'll be fine. If you say so. Anyway, I was the same before you so rudely interrupted me. I did this skinny thing, and suddenly I can hear those voices. Like the people around us. See, that's what I thought. But check out, their lips aren't moving. And now I can't tell where the voices are coming from. Mm. This is kind of weird. Like you're reading people's minds or something. Whoa. That's it! Mind reading! Maybe! Give it a whirl, Rin dude. See for yourself. Might as well, I guess. I can read your thoughts, can't I? Teenage heart tops. Gaming also allows you to hear people's thoughts. Press A near one of these penitent people to get an even clearer idea what's on their mind. That was also a game mechanic in the first game, where you're able to like, help certain NPCs to advance your own plot point by like reading their thoughts and kind of like talking to them basically uh there were certain kind of areas and rules that allowed uh even though you were in the fake shibuya you can interact with people in the real shibuya because of your pin like all the shops around the town had shib if you uh if they had even if no people had the, the pin you're able to talk with them and then um so like you be a real live person oh they have this pin on i can interact with them as a normal human being stuff like that and all shops had like pins somewhere in there to allow you to shop there, stuff like that. This is my first class reunion in ten whole years. What do I do if I fall for my first love all over again? Should I break up with my boyfriend? This is this is at Daydreamer. Don't break up with your boyfriend just for a fucking first <laughs> love. Dang, we can really read people's minds. This is so cool. I'm getting all psyched up. Very funny. Is this part of the game too? How does that even work? Don't care. Don't know. Don't care. Come on, let's go to Hachiko. I think I'd have Fred's mindset. I probably have Fred's mindset, even at my own detriment. Would you, wouldn't want to be late. Late for what, Fred's? Jeez, what's to do with this game? Let's have a look. Those powers. You connect to those pins you bought. You mean like the no pins, no powers? Yeah. <laughs> How do you consider that? That's exactly what they're connected to. Ooh, I can read other people's thoughts. Oh, that's so cool. How can we agree, but not each other's? That's a good question. The pins? Yes. Let's go with that. That's ex the exact reason, by the way. I always dream of picking up a sh girl in Shibuya, and all I go do is walk and say hi. Now, if only my knees would stop shaking. Yo, mood. His name's at ladies, man. Come on, man. Hot off the press. Harbound collector. Oh my gosh, the new volume is my favorite mystery series is up. So CDO should be have a copy, right? Maybe I should find another fun Nabuam here. Six cents. Uh, scoop Sleuth? The Hanako spent a lot of time abroad before she became a mom, did you see? Maybe I convince her to come on board our show as a global reporter. I like how the world freezes when I'm using my mind powers. Oh, Moody. At taking a chance. Hachinko's Cafe is great, but the barista changes the menu all the time. Hope she's in a put extra chips and chocolate scone kind of mood today. Seems kind of uh, not a good way to maintain business. Ooh, lucky day. Following, I, I'm a believer. 
fall on my horoscope to a tea today. I drink some purple tea, wore my lucky color, wore on my diary, even complimented my nice co-worker. So something really good should be coming my way. Do people actually think like that? Mm -hmm. Game thing's pretty wild. Too crazy to be real. Yeah, I feel that. Hey, what about that girl, a reaper or whatever? Hope she's real, if you know what I mean. Can't say that I do. First pulses. M-U-A in the making. I put on my pulses for the first time, but they feel so weird on my eyelids. I might try adding color contacts into the mix once I'm used to them. It's a falsy. Shouts out to anyone who gets that reference. Cheap and tasty. Justice Burger is the best. Not only are the food cheap and tasty, but the staff's so friendly too. They make me feel like a hero every time I visit. Yen pinching hero. <laughs> I don't know why they hate it. Free time. Here at business. I finally got some free time and my wife's halfway across the country. So I can do whatever I want. Like, no, no, I can't. Don't try to cheat on your wife, man. Hey, there's the Reaper again, see? So this is Jinko we were looking for? Mm. Pretty sure it's the only Hachinko. Hmm. Is that just me or does that guy over there look kind of creepy? No, yeah, he's totally sus. Sup? Hey, you two. You players? Oh shit, he's talking to us. What do we do? Calm down there, pal. You couple strike me as a couple of newbies. We do? I mean, guess technically we are. Okay. I knew it. Just try not to get yourself erased right off the gates. Yes, sir. Got it, sir. This appearance just sounds so bad right now, actually. Don't be like that. You gotta play to win. Are ready for your mission? Have a look. Huh? Mission? Does that mean the game is starting? Let's see. Reveal the skull's true color. A, B, C, D. So I gotta go top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right. That's what it says. Uh, skulls? What skulls? Where are they? How do you keep to find them? Or use your own two skulls to figure it out. Okay, then what are these stripes all about? And what do you mean A, B, C, D mean? I feel like I've seen these somewhere. Should we be just cake? Just think Shibuya. Oh, the stripes are crosswalk. It's a scrambling cross. See, that wasn't so hard, right? Okay, I'm still stuck on the letters. Maybe we're supposed to mark places across the crossing? Guess you better check them out and figure once you figure out those skull colors, head back here. Have fun. Wait, I wanted to figure that out on my own though. So much fun. Anyway, we hitting up the crossing? Yeah, let's head to the spot labeled A through D. What do you think? What do you think will be there? Won't know until we go. Hopefully this whole thing doesn't give us much trouble. Better list it, list up everything we find so we don't get confused. So we start here and scan my pupil. My little man of Tamagawa, my little Osakuma, has finally opened their little exhibition. Can't wait to see what incredible bodies of water they put on display. I just as expected. What? Your head's completely empty. Had a look inside, huh? Yeah, what a waste. Ha ha. Hipster cred. At longtime fan. Whoa, since when did Iru have so many subscribers? I've been following them for years and I just noticed. Happy for them, but I hope they don't become a sellout. Yo, mood. The crossing. At New Tokyo Tight. It was hard to make it through this cross uh, scamper crossing before, but now I do it every, every day. I can even skip my way across if I wanted to. I wouldn't. No way, the size of powder can't be. I finally found one of the rarest manhole clovers in Japan. Manhole Manic. Okay. Uh, you okay, Rin dude? Yeah, just peering into the void. What void? Oh, the one between my eyes? Of course it's empty. What do you expect? Good point. Yellow. Hmm, so apparently we're at B right now. Sweets. Any spooky, scary skulls around? Hey. Ah, there it is. What? Where? Over there, the Jumbotron. Oh, okay. Hey, yeah, you're right. There's a blue skull. Man, screen. Oop. Screen time on that thing can't come cheap. 
Running this game must cost a fortune. I bet, gives us a pretty big deal, right? So we found B for blue. Ah, we totally got this. All right, so we gotta look for the skulls in the sky then. Yellow. This is where A is. Yep, look, the sign. Yep, so we got a yellow skull there. Yellow skull, neat. So makes A yellow. With that, our work here is done. So we got yellow. Quay? Yo, Rin dude, what's with this wall of thorns always here? Don't think so. Look pretty painful too. Let's not mess with it, shall we? Yeah, better just turn back. Mm -hmm. But how come everyone else is passing through like it's nothing? Is it just us or what? I mean, you're part of the game, so clearly. So there's yellow. There's blue. So there should be a red. There should be a skull around here somewhere. So this is C. I'm gonna go yes. No skulls though. To the one in those people's heads. Probably not those, but that does give me an idea. Hey. All right, let's hear it. Mm -hmm. We should try scanning the area for a hint. Oh, I got you. Maybe someone points in the right direction. Worth a shot, anyway. Let's have a look. Oh, yep. Wait, I want to read those blues first. More important. Justice Burger. Hungry and thrifty. Today I'm going to eat a Justice Burger. I have to have enough points to get a large order of Freedom Fries on the house. <laughs> you can't. Freedom Fries. God damn it. That fucking Robot Chicken Simpsons video. Or Simpsons skit. High hopes. Typical Taurus. I put my luggage in a locker. Now I'm ready to explore Shibuya. Time to get acquainted with that pooch of legends. You're you're going the wrong way. You're going the wrong way. Oh, whatever. Not my problem. Wait, no. God damn it. There's too many blues. Got a ton of pictures at one of those little booths today. Picturesque princess. I got so many. I'm going to keep a second out to keep them all. Celebs. Star Trek Housewife. Hello, Shibuya. I've seen three celebs already. I don't know their names, but I totally remember seeing them on TV somewhere. Mood. Uh, the only celebs I've met in real life are, like, first-hand met-met or Outcast. I sold them popcorn when I was in Boy Scouts. I think I inked... I uh, finally inked my arm to touch with my dreams. My girl doesn't dig the purple skull, but I think it looks sick. Besides, just a wash-off sticker. So, here's purple. Hear that? A purple skull. Oh yeah, he is the purple skull. Mm -hmm. So C is purple. Man, you're so smart. So it's yellow, blue, purple. I see on the floor right there, red. I think this is D. I don't see any skulls though. Yep, no skulls. What? No, it's right there. Is that weird mark? Oh no, a noise is blocking the skull. Uh, one of those man covers? Looks like one of the noise symbols worth investigating if you ask me. Then we can fight something? Most likely. Let's give it a scan then. Let's have a look. Okay. I can already see how this system is gonna work. Using a cycle will consume energy from the gauge displayed below in the pins. When the gauge is depleted, you'll have to wait until the pins are booted to use a psych again. So yeah, as we saw, I was kind of too winded. Like, let me see if I can show you what it looks like. Loading's a little bit slow, though. Keep it together. Yeah, see, I'm winded, so I can't attack with it anymore. Okay, so I should be switching to get the most groove. Yup, so the game wants me to switch between attacks. Yep, understandable. So that's how it wants you to use combos and stuff. It doesn't want you to use the same attack over and over. It wants you to switch from one attack to the other. Got it, understandable. So, yep, red. Man, we're almost too good at this. Alright, let's not get carried away. Seriously though, this game's a walk in the park. Maybe a notch before Slack Prodigy. Uh-huh, sure. Rin, dude, this is a game it's supposed to be fun. 
Go sit up and play along. Wow, Fred, you're so amazing and cool and good at everything. Right? Find the recognition I deserve. Love that for you. So what's that thing over there? A red skull. Oh, man, the man cover. So I could have done that without fighting the... I could have just guessed red or whatever. Looks like there's a skull and it's red one. So D is red. So it's yellow, blue, purple, red. Oh, the official character just went live. Greetings. Sheeple of Shibuya. This is our game master, Shiba speaking. <laughs> Hope you're having fun with day one. Got some red hot news for you. Hey, I remember him. It's that guy who screened at the crossing yesterday. Our one team has managed to complete today's objective. Somebody else has already finished the mission? I guess. Didn't really realize there were anybody else. Hmm. The rest of you might want to find out a fire under your light. The rest of you might want to light a fire under your asses. Best if you want to go down to be the first to take down the targets. So who's it going to be? Are the deep river society finally going to pull themselves out of the gutter? Maybe even knock the rune bringers off their throne and take the top spots. It's another one's game, folks. Who's going to prove they got the brains and brawn to win it all? Maybe it'll be our dark horse. Rindo's group. Huh? Looks like someone's not afraid to put ourselves out there. Uh, yeah, Rindo, you can see it so much. Whatever you call yourselves, I want to hear the name Thunder through the... I want to hear that name Thunder through Booya. Show me what you've got. Or else. And with that, I bid you adieu. Left looks like a vampire. You sure seem stoked about this whole game thing. A little too stoked to be asking me. More importantly, hey. what the hell is Rindo's group? Oh yeah, I was going to ask you the same thing. Uh... I mean, I guess I kind of sort of have an idea of what it is, but you know. Fred, what'd you do? You see the window uh, popped up asking if I want to create a team like a group chat, right? And then it asked me to pick a leader, which was weird for a group chat. I could have just kind of put your name there. And then I guess it went with the default name since I got tired of typing stuff. Uh, Rindo's group. So you're telling me you signed up as signed us up as a team without my consent. I guess I did, but it's not so bad, right? I mean, the bases that called us the superstars of Shibuya. At least we could do is play along. If we're gonna play, at least come up with a better name. Hey, Swallow, did you hear about the event in Shibuya? Apparently, some kind of game that everyone has to play. Don't know what it's about, but I'm gonna make sure I win. Let's get it. I wonder if they're still around. Anyway, so what are we doing about our name? I don't know. We'll come up with a better one out soon. Otherwise, the game will be over before you do. Didn't realize it was my responsibility. You just put my name there, you piece of shit. All right. Yes. We found all the skulls. Get you to the picture of confidence. So spit it out. I told you to reveal the skulls' true colors. So what are there? Are they? Oh, um. Let's see. A yellow, B is blue, C is purple, and D is red. Why couldn't you let me do that? Correct. Not bad for a couple of newbies. <laughs> oh yeah, it was a total breeze. Fred, shush. Okay. Objective met. Head on through to Shibuya. Hakaria? Hakari? Words are hard. So I guess we're supposed to go there next. Mm -hmm. I mean, we'd probably be letting us through if it weren't. <laughs> All right then, Shibuya Harakiri, here we come. I'm gonna mess up so many of these names. All right. I think we're right now. Oh, I can art. Oh, I can't up the difficulty yet. All right. I think for right now, though, that's a pretty good place to stop. So, so far, the start is of this is pretty strong. It reminds me kind of what's going on with the last one. Though the stakes aren't quite as high, per se. Then again, we did watch Fret literally bite it. So, maybe I'm just wrong. Either way, I want everyone out there to have a good morning, evening, day, or night, wherever you're at. When we come back, we'll keep playing more of this game. But for right now, I'm out. Later.